Religion appears to shape much of Ghanaian thinking. Churches are a ubiquitous feature of our lives, with several of them getting involved every now and then in some form of controversy or the other. My guest today is a leading theologian and a minister of the Methodist Church. What does he make of the state of religious practice in Ghana today? Back in a moment. Dr. Paul Boafo, welcome to Time with David. Thank you. I want to begin our discussion by, first of all, trying to get a sense from you of what you think is the place of religion in society in the first place. What is religion there for? Thank you very much. Uh, religion, as we see it, is uh, part of human life because of our composition. We are made up of the flesh and the spirit. And religion seems to be addressing more especially the needs and the desires of the spirit. And that is where religion plays an important role in the life of the society mm. and the individual. But all people are made of flesh and blood, but Africans in particular yeah. are drawn to religion. How is that? Africans are drawn to religion because of uh, our beliefs, our traditional beliefs that uh, uh, the human person is not just flesh, but is made up of various uh, elements, which we will call the, the body, the soul, and the spirit. And that is unique to Africa, you're saying? Is no, that unique to Africa? But being in the other parts of the yeah, world, yes. they also believe okay. that uh, humans are not just the flesh, yeah. but the spirit also, okay. because that is what makes us. Yeah. And for Christians, we believe that uh, the Lord God formed man out of dust. And as man was lying without any motion, the Lord God breathed his breath into man. And that is where the spirit comes in. And that is where man became a living being. And this is where religion also plays its role okay. to make sure that you satisfy the needs of the spirit as well as. And the, so the, the churches, the churches, what is, their, what is their role? The church now becomes the body that makes sure that we come to terms with who we are yeah. and what is there for us even after here. Yeah. And we need to be thinking about all these yeah. things. It is not just here and now, yeah. but you are looking into the future. Yeah. And when we are even dead and gone, what happens there? All these things are factors into religion. But you agree with me that religion is also quite controversial, isn't it? I mean, you describe it so nicely, you present it in such a good place. Someone sent me a message yesterday saying that religion is the primary cause of war, for example. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. And a lot yeah. of the chaos yes, we right, have in yeah. our society In today, our world, in the yes, world yeah, now, are yeah, all religious uh, factors that yeah. are causing all these yeah. things. So do we need because less or more religion? We need it, but we need it and we should understand why we get into it. Yeah. And uh, the moment we understand that what is the focus, what is the purpose of it? It is for uh, humans to live and live right. It is to make sure that there is equity in the world. It is to make sure that there is justice in the world. It's, you see, all these things form part of religion. And whose job is and it to provide that understanding? Perhaps the Methodist Church could take a lead, no? Well, all churches are supposed to, to take this, this as, as the purpose, as the focus, because religion should bring about development. It should bring about uh, uh, equity, Harmony also, justice, right? and yeah. all that. Okay. That is yeah. the purpose. That is the essence mm. of religion. Mm. Without it, we see that we'll be leading ourselves into chaos mm. where we don't understand each other. And it also borders on our, our faith. Yeah. You see, sometimes we will, we will not agree, but disagreement does, should not lead into conflict. Yeah. You see, where, because we cannot be one at the same time. And this is where we need to understand ourselves so that we can move on mm. as people of God. You were 
recently, not too long ago in the news, you were, I was reading about you at a conference in the United Kingdom where you were, you were voting against <laughs> same-sex marriage. That's right. Can you tell me why you chose to vote against it? There must have been about 248 people to vote. I think about 47, 47. were against 48 it. voted against, against and it. 247 voted for. I want to talk to you about, about, about why you voted against it. But before we do, uh, I'd like you to watch. You know, we, we chose to ask some people about same-sex marriage, and I, okay. I want you to, to hear what they had to say. All right. Okay. A male and a male to get married. I don't think churches will accept that because it's against the scriptures. It's against everything that's possible. So I don't think they should be together and anything like that. Same-sex marriage uh, shouldn't be encouraged. Yes. I'm a Christian, so uh, my, my Bible tells me that from the beginning, God created man and woman. Uh, and marriage is an institution between a man and a woman. Get it here. It's not advisable. You have to do it again. We 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 have to do it again. No, not at all. Never had a daddy. Daddy, I want to win also get married. Never. Because we are young couple as we are And yes, I need Jesus Christ to buy and we are Not one of, of the people we spoke to, not even a single one, spoke in favor of it. So they all kind of shared the position that you took. Yes. Why, why is that? I mean, I'm almost beginning to ask myself whether that was a genuine view because you know mm -hmm. when something doesn't seem to be politically correct if you like or fashionable yeah. people say these things mm -hmm. i mean they, they don't always mean what they say when we do these interviews i think people tend sometimes to to just say what they think is the appropriate thing or are you telling me that in your view yes. this is what people think exactly this is what we think first as Ghanaians, yeah. as christians and as people of god you think that we what, think, that, that, I think that marriage as instituted by God was between a man and a woman. And we read that in Genesis. God saw that it was not good for the man to be alone. And that is why he created, he made the woman. He could have made another man for but, him but to did, have company. But did he but, make him as a wife? I, mean, I don't understand yes, when you give that, that example. That is, he made that, a man and he made a woman. Why do you assume he made it as a he wife? Said that, that is why he said it's, it's good for the man. You see, it is good for the man and going to be a helpmate. Right. To be a helpmate. And helpmate means someone who can have a uh, relationship with, they can have socialized with, the person who can make life meaningful somebody who can make life worth living so that is why so, god created the woman so into the life of adam so what was the argument for those that were for it then i mean you were at a big conference yes the majority that's right were for it they're they, also they, from the methodist church yes they so, were they were uh, yeah, members of the yeah, methodist so, church so, in britain so, so and here you and, are telling me why yes. it's, you are against what and th why is it that there it is it is it is this the, the argument is that uh, sexuality is is uh something which we cannot determine for an individual and so let us leave the person to determine who and what he or she is. And you don't share that? We don't share that. Because but, but it's, it's, but it's that male not... and female. It, there, is, there is not a third gender which we can say that we are bi or trans or you can go and change and become something you else. Know, you, you, that one, it, because society, yeah. you see, from the beginning has known this to be the right thing, is the norm. And you, if you are this resisting norm, change. You are resisting change. No, I'm not resisting change. Is, see, is it not change, possible? Change, change for, for a positiveness, fine. But change which is going to change, uh, bring uh, order, uh, disorder, mm. you see, mm. in, in society. That's because a reject. It, it, yes, because we are trying to 
reshape us. But is it not just something? a matter of time before that this catches? I mean, no, I, 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 no. And the Bible has not changed. But let me let me start from there because that is the foundation upon which my arguments are built. Right. It's on the Bible. The right. Bible in our time, in the 21st century, has not changed. Right. It is the same. Right. And so I cannot come and have a new, a new Bible. But society evolves, doesn't no, it? No, society evolves. Fine. For that one, society is dynamic. Culture is dynamic. Life is dynamic. But there are certain things in life which will not change. And one of them is our scriptures. The scriptures will not change. And John tells us in Revelations that no one should add to it or subtract from it. And since it has not changed, I cannot change my doctrine. I cannot change my belief. I cannot change my practice. So you are not opposed to it. What you are opposed to is them getting married in the Methodist church. Is that it? Let me understand what you are right. going to say. Yes. In, in my press statement, I made it very clear yeah. that we don't hate homosexuals. Right. We hate the act. We hate the act. How can you of, even distinguish between the two? Yeah, you distinguish. You, 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 yeah. you, cannot, you, cannot, you, cannot, you cannot be all right with the homosexual, the, but yes. it's like homosexuality. Yes, that's it. This is it. You see, the church is there for sinners. We are all sinners. So you consider it sin. So, so you consider that a sin. A sin, yes. It is a sin. And that is why I will not shun the company of the homosexual. I want him to be with me so that I can preach to such a person to change. Just as I move into a, a community, into a village or into any environment, and I begin to preach, and people begin to realize that no, this life which I'm, li I'm living is not worth living it. So let me respond to the call of Christ and take on a new mindset, a new form of action and attitude so that I can fit into the kingdom of God. This position is because you are a priest or because you are... You're, I mean, no, no, not just because I'm a priest, yeah. but even my society. Okay, so that's the cultural The dimension. culture, the culture from which I am coming also tells me that man man marriage is not acceptable yeah. woman woman is not acceptable so you made that clear at the conference yes it was it and was how did my... they take that well they, they, they said well that is your view yeah. and you said and, and yours is exactly yours. yeah so, so the church is split on, on in a sense on on same on same sex marriage in in in, a, in, in some sense mm. but let me explain as i did in the press conference this statement or this decision is being sent to the masses right. to go and decide on it. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. To go and decide on it and then they will give it a final vote right. next year. Yeah. Uh, so it might change, okay. but uh, okay. it could also be the yeah. same. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about, 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 about churches in, in, in Ghanaian society now. Right. I mean, um, you know, I, I refer now to what I call a sustained proliferation of charismatic Pentecostal churches. Exactly. You know, we used to talk about the proliferation of churches, yeah. and, and there was a time you thought it would pass. Yeah. But I, 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 the reason I call it sustained is because mm -hmm. it is ongoing even now, and sure. you don't see any sign That's of right. it abating. Hasn't church just become a business for many of these churches? To some extent, I will agree with you. The churches have yeah. become business for some people some people are cashing in and they see the establishment, the opening of churches as business. Okay. But, I, I, but I, I, that should not be yeah. the focus of churches. Right. Or whoever is in charge of a church. Because Christ came and in John 10, 10 tells us that I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah. That should be the purpose that should be the essence, that should be the aim it's not. of the focus it's, of the church. It's not. It is not. That's why I said I will agree with you to yeah. some extent yeah. Yeah. that some yeah. are cashing in and making it business. Are you they sure are if we were to count they, them? They, they, they are, are more they than are just not, a few, are, you know? They are not few. Yes. Because you see them springing up every now and then. Exactly. In uh, corners and in What accounts for that? 
one, um, let me look at it from our culture mm. and our society as Africans or as Ghanaians. We are, as in BT, we'll put it incurably religious. And so anything to do incurably, with religion. Incurably yes. religious. That's right. What a it, description. <laughs> we can't it, be cured of religion. We can't. Yeah, it is part <laughs> of us. Yeah. And we we'll want to assign spiritual reasons to any happenings, any circumstance we find ourselves in as Africans or as Ghanaians. Yeah. And this is the drive. And this is what motivates people to come in to find answers, solutions to situations and life patterns, lifestyles, and all the happenings around that individual. The masses are high on religion. Exactly. And, and people now are using this as a way of making money. And they are permitted to do that? You see, this is going to bring me to that subject that recently came up about you know, regulating church activity and so on. They are permitted to do that, to take a thing like religion and abuse it yeah. and use it for private gain? Yeah. And that's all right? That is not all right. That is not all right. Because uh, churches will say that we have our way of life and the Bible is the foundation. Mm. Guides us as to what to do. Even as a minister of God, or a lay worker of God, all that we need to do, which is uh, approved of God, is in the scriptures, right? Yeah. And apart from that, the state has also its own rules to guide and guide us. So some of these things which are happening in our society, if they infringe on our constitution or the rights of the individuals, these people can be arrested. Let me, let, me, arrested. Let, let me get it straight here. You're saying that, yes, there are, there are things that are happening, and then if they are not right, yes. there are ways to deal with them. Exactly. Is, is that yeah. because you don't believe there is a need to come up with any new legislation to, if you like, uh, register sort of... Exactly. Uh, you don't exactly. believe in that. I don't believe in that. And the Christian You know they Council, do that in certain places. Yes, they do. In, in, and in, I think in Tanzania and Rwanda, I mean, if you're going to have a church, you have to have a, some kind of qualification. Exactly. You don't they, share they, that. No, I don't. I don't share that. And then but Christian, don't you think Christian that will bring Council sanity will not, to the system? not share that. Why no. not? It, it is also a, a, a thing that would infringe on what we say this our constitution. Article 21 says that there's freedom of association, freedom of religion, freedom of... And so, if you have this freedom and you want to abuse it, that is when the law comes in. So, if we see that these religious men and women are abusing their freedom, then they need to be de dealt with, mm -hmm. with the laws of the land. So, why don't we do that? We don't seem to do that. No, no we don't seem to yes, do that. We don't seem to do that. Yes, it's the law enforces. It's the law enforces. You see? Yeah. And it also boils down to the first statement I made that we are incurably religious. Yeah. Sometimes, you can't, the law you can't arrest the pastor. Exactly. I knew you were going to say that. You can't arrest the pastor. <laughs> yes. well. no, the can't. people will explode exactly. because they are man of God. Yes. That's the description of that person abusing them. Right. You see, they see him as a man of God. Meanwhile, he or she is abusing them. And they are willing to accept the abuse because of what? Because of religion. Because they think that that is the, the way things should go, which is wrong. Which is wrong. You oh, see, yeah. in religion, it's faith-based. It's faith. Yeah. It's you are acting on faith, but faith with reason. Yeah. Reason should be part of faith. You just can't take away reasoning. Because God tells us, come and let us reason together. That is what God tells the people of Israel. And he's telling us, come, let us reason together. So he's giving us that mind, that reasoning power. So if you see that the person is abusing you, yeah. 
abusing your rights, abusing yeah. your humanity, and living you, you, your whole your whole being as a human being. You need not follow such people. Let me just chip in this with where I am coming from as a Methodist minister. Just before you go there, is it not because a lot of people are poor? Honestly, Poverty? They are just poor. If, 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 if Ghanaians and Africans begin to live a better life, we will put religion aside. No, no? We, we will not. We will not put it aside but, because you have some people who are also affluent in society now who are also religious. They have not put God aside. For we know that in everything you do, you cannot sideline God. But we will be less inclined to maybe not put religion aside, to condone and accept all kinds of, 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 of abuse from sure. a preacher man. That's right. That one you will not we would, follow. We would, you we will we would, not. Because yes, we will be the better. Right the, now we are desperate looking for some kind exactly. of Exactly. And the person who is leading you will not even have the opportunity and the chance to be talking about how to be rich and how to be famous. and Because you're already rich, you're already famous. Yeah. So you'll not yeah. come yeah. there. So he can't sell you that. Exactly. He can't sell you uh -huh. that. But because most or majority of their congregants yeah. are living in poverty, they whatever you say that, look, this is what will make you rich. This is what will bring prosperity. This is what will make you famous then they are following. How can you come out as a prophet of God and tell your congregants that go out and chew the grass? Exactly. See, grass, as we know from Adam, is meant for the cattle. Yeah. So why would you as human beings to do that? To go and, and then you see people following. So, so, who, so, 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 so who's lost his brains there? The priest or the people who accept that? Both of them, yes, because they are not thinking about how God wants human beings to live. Mm. It's so abnormal to be going that way and then to be following. And yeah. that's where reasoning comes in. Yeah. Yes, that's where reasoning comes and in. And yet when you talk to people about religion and about all these different things, they seem to be very clear. I mean, let me show you. We also spoke to people about... Uh, this whole bit about whether we should regulate churches and so on. Okay. Churches and your religion. Right. So let's okay. I'll just show you what they have to say. All right. Business in John Weapa. <laughs> well, in this modern era, anything is possible. I mean, people there are some fake pastors who are obviously using it for business. And there are some real ones. So. The church is not a business. What I know about the church, the church is a body of Christ, you know. Because the church is the body of Christ. 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 As I said, one G is crucial. No! Yes, that meant to shut every check down if they don't have any certificates. No, I saw my certificates. They are trying to spread out the gospel, they are trying to make some people sanctified and then convert some people. So I don't think they should be shut down because they don't have certificates. If, I mean, perhaps doing some interrogations and uh, investigations and realize that the, the churches are not actually performing the duties that a church to perform, then the government has the right to close down some churches. I bet you that the, <laughs> even the gentleman who was saying that uh, the color eggs, people buy eggs and all That's that, right. I bet you that he's probably buy, buys eggs himself. That's right. I mean, he this has, bought, is the, he has bought it before. <laughs> you see, this is the thing about religion I wanted That's to explain right. to me. Yes. I mean, I mean, he roundly condemns the act and yet he, he, he falls for it. Yes. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a dissonance yes. of sorts taking place there, a kind of... Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's bordering on faith matters as well, you see. Uh, yes, God has his own way of hearing our prayers and, uh, and then answering our prayers and all that. But when it comes to these tricks that they are talking about, mm -hmm. that is where we need to be careful and we need to be circumspect in how 
we prescribe for our congregants. God is a God of miracles. He comes in various ways. He can come at a time or in a moment or in a season where we don't even think of. And it could be so weird, but he, he comes in. But some people are just playing on these ignorance and then taking a whole game out of it and making money. It's a uh, shame should, because it really undermines be. the whole uh, business that you are involved in. Sure, I mean, sure. I mean, how yeah, do you... Yes. How do you uh, the, the Christian age? Council is concerned. The Catholic Secretariat is also concerned. We do issue pastoral letters and we do come out with press statements condemning such acts in the name of uh, religion, which are abuses and excesses. In, so you're hopeful there will be change? For the there better. should be. There should be. Yeah. And uh, if our law enforcers can also, as the other uh, can also act as they are uh, permitted to do, you see, uh, we, we just can't put all of us in one basket. Yeah. But there are some who are really abusing the people. And if it is against our rules and our laws, uh, why not? Why not approach such and then deal with it? Most yes. Reverend Dr. Paul Wafu, thank you so very much for coming. Thank you, David, thank you. and thank you for this opportunity. Right.